Happy 4th of July. Today, I wasn't going to do a, a reading today, but the whole day I have had this feeling of, well, this energy. Your person is pulling at my energy like crazy. I feel like this person that's in your energy is feeling like they're kind of caught between two worlds, right? I feel like this person feels like they're caught between this 3D reality and the 5D. The 5D being their soul. The 5D being who they really are at soul level, right? And I'm feeling like this person is feeling like they're kind of stuck. Like they're caught between these two different realities. And when I picked up these cards and cut the deck, it opened straight to the tower. So I was feeling like this person is really going through it. They're doing a lot of self-reflection. Your person is deep in thought. And I'm not sure if you're aware of it or not. Maybe you've had contact with this person. Maybe you haven't. Um, I feel like it's very minimal contact. The Spirit, give me a message. <laughs> Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Four of Wands. Right. This person is really dealing with a lot. They're dealing with a lot of burden. Feeling like they just want it to be over. Dealing with the realities of relationship. I feel like this person is being pushed to make a decision. Two of cups at the bottom. This person is really being led to make a decision about their future. And I feel like Spirit has gotten to the point where <laughs> Spirit, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, has gotten to the point where they're no longer giving this person a choice. They're making them make a decision. Right? Or they're going to make the decision for them. And it's going to mean them losing their opportunity to be with you. That's how I've been feeling all day. A very heavy, heavy energy. A very sad energy. <laughs> it's brought me to tears more than once today. But let's take a look at the energy. Holy Spirit, give me a message. Bless these cards. Bless my viewer. Give them a message for the greater good. Protect me as I do this reading. Okay. Let's see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. Seven of Cups. What did I say? Choices. This person. It also can reflect options and illusions. Which cup does he choose? Male or female? Which cup does he choose? Does he choose the most obvious? Or does he choose the red cup? Hmm. Okay. Spirit, give me a message. How is this person feeling at the moment? Ten of Wands again. A lot of heaviness. Like I said, a lot of heaviness. A lot of burden. Five of Pentacles. 
this person is really feeling like they missed this opportunity like they feel left out in the cold and I feel like <laughs> what they need to be doing is going into their heart listening to their heart and not their ego listening to the king of cups right listening to their intuition and I feel like this person is having a hard time listening to their intuition. Queen of Pentacles. They see you as a Queen of Pentacles energy. As someone very stable, very reliant, very put together. Right? Give me a message, Spirit. Why is this person hesitating on making their decision? Two of Wands. I feel like with this Two of Wands energy, this person is reflecting. They're reflecting on making a decision because they want to move forward, but they just don't know how. They don't know how it's going to work out. But they're feeling all of this so strongly. They're feeling all of this love so strongly. It's like they're finally being bombarded um, with all the thoughts that maybe you have been thinking for months. Maybe even years. But these emotions are now flooding this person. And they're feeling the... They're feeling very overwhelmed, very burdened, very feeling like they need to intentionally make a decision. And they're not sure if they're ready for it. But they view you as so stable, so reliant. They feel like they can depend on you for the answers. So you may receive a message from this person asking you for advice, right? Or they may come to you with a question out of the blue. You may not have spoken to them in a couple days, a couple weeks, a couple years, right? But I feel like this person feels like you are the one to come to for the answers. And they're not sure why. But they're being led to you. Spirit, give me a message. Why the two of wands here? Why the two of wands? Why the two of wands? Why do they feel like they need to travel towards the feminine? Maybe too many. The Page of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. Right. Page of Pentacles. Because they feel like the choices that they need to make you have already conquered and this person is being kind of like your student right they they see that you're doing so well they see that you're doing <laughs> much better than they expected so the hurdles that they are now crossing they feel like you've already been through and now they feel like the choices that they need to make, you are the one to speak to because you've already been through them. Right? They're going to ask you how you manage so well. How you, you're, you're on top of your game. Even though to yourself, you feel like you're not you know you feel like 
maybe you haven't moved but from the outside looking in people think that you have it all together like you have conquered the impossible right so I feel like you you are going to be the one to come to for advice in a lot of situations Spirit, give me a message. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups? What is this person contemplating? So many cards. Huh. The Five of Swords. Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. And the Tower. Okay. This person is going through a lot of worry. They're going through a lot of worry. They're going through a lot of feeling that they're just not going to measure up. Because they see you as these, this Queen of Wands energy, right? You come at this high vibration. And I feel like with this Three of Pentacles, this person has tried to find you and so many other people. And they haven't been able to find your energy yet. Your energy is unmatchable. There's nothing like your energy. There's no one that brings what you bring to the table. Nobody. Nobody can compare to you. Even on your worst day, nobody can compare to you. And I feel like this person is going through this tower moment. They're going through this realization this huge tower that's kind of collapsing so that something better can come about. They're going through this tower so that they can remove themselves from this Eight of Swords energy. Right? Um, I feel like this person has built very strong walls around the, their heart and even the third party has not been able to take down these walls even the third party still only gets the superficial qualities from this person and I don't know if you know that or not but and for some of you, you're able to have a front seat right to seeing exactly what your person and the third party are doing. Because for some of you, it's right under your nose. And I'm sorry for that. It's hard. But as good as it looks like on the outside on the inside it's crumbling it's crumbling this person just wants to take action they just want to move forward they want this excitement that only you bring they want this comfort that only you bring this nurturing that only comes from you so I feel like this your person is receiving very strong karma. Very strong karma. Karma has finally come to collect, right? And I don't think karma's collecting so much on your side because I feel like you've went through so much karma. You've you conquered all that. You've conquered those lessons, those tests that the universe was putting you through, that God was putting you through, right? I feel like you conquered those. Some of you still may have some lessons to learn, but I feel like the lessons... The lessons have been learned basically on your part so if you are receiving some sort of karma these are the last lessons learned changes 
Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune. Big changes. Big changes are coming. And things are finally moving in your favor. I feel like things haven't been easy. But you feel like they haven't really been going in your favor. And Nine of Wands. You have felt like you've had to rebuild those walls around you. But Spirit wants you to know that big changes are coming. The devil. Big changes are coming. The devil represents the karma that's going to be collected. Right? This is the karma that's going to be collected. These are the lessons that this person is going to be going through. We have the devil. Look at this. The devil and the angel. Right? The devil and temperance. So as karma is collected, temperance is there to rebalance. To readjust the scales. Right? Karma. Uh, seven of Wands. Seven, seven, seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. <laughs> and the Ace of Swords. Your truth is coming. Where you felt like you had to build walls or... Where this person had so many options. The options are dwindling for this person. The options are becoming so narrow that this Seven of Wands is starting to become deceptive to this person, right? And I feel like this person is having to go deep within to figure out things. Ace of Swords energy. That's the truth. The truth of Archangel Angel Michael. Michael Sword. Michael Sword of Truth. And I feel like that sword is cutting very deep. Right? Because they're finally having to face the truth. The truth of maybe losing you due to their behavior. The truth to why you came into their life in the first place. I feel like this person is dealing with a lot of truth. And that has to do with the karma that they're dealing with. The Knight of Wands. They, they are now understanding that the actions that they need to take need to be more intentional. They need to be more thought-provoking. They need to be more... Hmm. Look what I see on the bottom. Justice. Right. Balancing the scales. The universe is balancing the scales for them. Their options. They're finally seeing that their options aren't as good as what they thought they were. They thought that maybe the grass was greener on the other side. Not all of them, but I do feel like some of them may have kind of put you on hold or put you to the side. Put you in the back burner for a third party situation thinking that maybe the package was prettier or the grass was going to be greener they now see that the, <laughs> the grass was not greener that it's just becoming more hard and they're slowly moving we have the Justice card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups, and the Strength card. 
and the six of cups okay this person is feeling like they need to come back they need to make things right they need to kind of regain your approval in some way or another some for some of you that may be an apology for some of you that may be explaining why and I feel like with this person some of you just don't care less you've moved on because I, I do also feel a new energy around you as well. So this person may be coming back a day late and a dollar short. Right? Because I feel like some of you aren't waiting on this person. You haven't waited. Your life has moved on without them. We have the temperance again. Look at this. The temperance keeps wanting to come out. I feel like spirit, regardless of regardless of what's going on, I feel like spirit is leading leading you. This message is for you. This card is for you. Spirit is leading you to forgive. Wow. And that's totally up to you. But I feel like that card is for you. This person is going through hell. I'm not going to lie. This person is definitely going through hell. They're going through their karma. And it's not easy. They feel like, I feel it. I feel it coming in from all sides. You know, it may be coming in from family, from friends, from their finances. I feel like they're even battling with their health in some cases. But I feel like this person is going through it, right? Um... And I feel like spirit is leading you to forgive. To forgive this person. You know, we have the Ten of Swords. Endings. So that there can be a new beginning. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Hey. Ten of Swords. I don't feel like spirit, you know, if it's in your heart to give this person another chance, if they come to you correctly, I feel like there needs to be an ending so that there can be a beginning, a new beginning. Um, the Neptune in retrograde, this is all about a, a reset, a restart, doing something over, right? And I feel like right now the energy we're going to be going into mercury retrograde as well and that's going to actually help you reflect more on your relationships on things that that you're dealing with as well um but the strong energies that we're in and plus we have the new moon on the sixth so now's the time really to reflect rebalance you know so that you can gain that nine of pentacles energy that fulfillment and I feel like spirit is letting you know that with all the work that you've done with all the things that you did oh my gosh with all the work that you've done with all the things that you did you're going to get your happiness spirit is, is letting you know you know, during this reset, during this restarting point, things are going to be balanced out. They're going to be balanced out in your favor, right? 
That's beautiful energy. King of Swords at the bottom. You're going to gain your truth. You're going to gain all that understanding and come out of all that confusion that you were once in. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful energy. We have the world. Things are coming into balance. They're coming into balance for you. Ace of Cups. You're going to be rewarded for everything that you've been through. For every pain and hurt. All of the lessons. All of the trials and tribulations. You're going to get your reward. And Spirit wants you to know to forgive. Forgive the people you need to forgive. And also forgive yourself for the things that you, you've been through. The situations you put yourself in. Okay? Um, this is a beautiful reading. Seven of Swords. Spirit wants you to know that there's still some things around you that there's still people around you. That's that's what I want to say. There's people around you who are still being deceitful. And he wants you to see the truth in these people. He's going to make it so these people are made known to you. He's going to show you your enemies. He's going to show you the people who tried to delay you, tried to stop you. He's going to show you these people clearly. Wow. Spirit, one last message, then we have to go. Give me one last message for my collective. What else do they need to know? Okay, two parts. <laughs> oh my gosh, the sun and the hangman. Your happiness is coming. Oh my gosh. Ren, your happiness is coming. Your happiness is coming. This is the... And look. Truth is coming out again. The Ace of Swords. This truth is going to bring a different perspective. It's going to bring this enlightened knowledge. Of something that you haven't known. This may be your person coming forward with this truth that you are unaware of. But where you may have been confused before, I feel like it's all coming to light. Everything is going to make more sense. And that is going to bring so much change, so much happiness, so much rebalance. It's going to be like turning into a new chapter, you know, and starting fresh. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Your rewards are coming. During this full moon, set your intentions. This new moon. It's a new moon. Set your attentions. And manifest. Your reality. But at the moment. Like I said. I feel like this person is really contemplating. They're caught between two worlds. Who they think they are. Or who they want people to see them as. And their soul. 
and their soul who they really want to be so that's what I have for you okay if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell and have a wonderful holiday weekend many blessings to you love and light